According to the EPA, California wastewater treatment plants generate 750,000 dry tons of biosolids each year. Biosolids are the organic matter left behind after the wastewater treatment process. You know, that stuff. About 54% of California's biosolids are used for land application, most of it for animal feed crops like alfalfa and other grains. Another 18% is sent to landfills, many of them already nearing capacity. It's been estimated that many municipalities spend as much as half their wastewater operating costs on biosolids management. Here at Central Sand, oh, we turn it into energy and a component of commercial fertilizer and save a bundle along the way. During the first step of the treatment process, called primary treatment, wastewater enters large sedimentation tanks where oil and grease float to the surface. These are removed with skimming devices. The organic material that settles to the bottom of the tanks is called primary sludge. In the second stage of treatment, wastewater moves to aeration tanks where beneficial bacteria consume additional organic material in the water. In secondary clarifiers, the bacteria sink to the bottom and a portion of this sludge is removed, blended with the primary sludge, and pumped to our solids control building, where large centrifuges dewater the combined sludge in much the same way the spin cycle of a washing machine works. When the dewatered material, now termed biosolids, reaches the consistency of soft modeling clay, it is pumped to a four-story furnace for incineration. Meanwhile, the treated wastewater is disinfected with ultraviolet light before being discharged to Sassoon Bay, or treated even further to produce recycled water. Incineration starts at the top of our four-story multiple hearth furnace, which is fueled by methane gas from a local landfill and monitored by a high-tech computer system. As they move down through each level of the furnace, the biosolids become increasingly drier and are finally reduced to ash. By the time they reach the bottom hearth, the biosolids have been significantly reduced. Each 100 pounds of wet biosolids are reduced to only 7 pounds of sterile ash. And each day, about 200 wet tons of biosolids are incinerated. Central Sand produces an average of 14 tons of sterile ash per day. The ash is wet down, then hauled off-site to a manufacturer that uses it in the production of a commercial lawn and garden fertilizer. This recycling does more than just lessen the impact on landfills. Hauling 14 tons of ash instead of 200 tons of sludge per day significantly reduces the number of needed trucks and their emissions. And both dry and wet scrubbers on the furnace provide air pollution control for the exhaust, ensuring emissions comply with all state and local air quality regulations. The process doesn't stop there. Heat from the furnace exhaust is captured to produce steam in a waste heat boiler. That steam is piped to a turbine, which drives a blower that produces the air that bubbles up into the secondary aeration tanks. This in turn oxygenates the water and keeps those beneficial bacteria alive and healthy. But wait, there's still more energy to be had at the treatment plant. A cogeneration facility powered by natural gases, produces both electricity and steam. When the energy produced as a byproduct of incineration is combined with this cogen energy, you have 90% of the power needed for the daily operation of the entire treatment plant. This amounts to about a half million dollars in energy cost savings that is passed along to the ratepayer. From waste to worth, is how our biosolids disposal method has been described. It's clean, it both saves and produces energy, and it reduces costs. 
Not bad when you think about how it all starts. <laughs>